Hi, this is another video in my series on the loop on the ground antenna, uh, which I shot uh, seven months ago. In this video, I had a preamp to the loop to see if it makes a difference. So this is the preamp I bought. It was only six pounds on the online auction. It uh, provides 30 dB again across a frequency range of point, uh, 0.1 to 2000 megahertz. So that gain level is probably a bit too high. You can adjust it by lowering the voltage. It'll run 6 to 12 volts and anything below 8 reduces the gain. Um, so something you could achieve with a variable resistor. So I'm um, about to uh, install this at the loop end of the coax. Uh, so at the sharp end of the antenna. So my loop on the ground transformer is in a box hidden behind this plant pot. It's been here seven months and I have to say it's in excellent condition despite all weathers. The loop, if you recall, is a 15 foot square, 4.57 meters. It's now buried under the lawn and disappeared completely. And these are the antennas uh, I'm comparing it against. This is the uh, 80 and top band quarter wave verticals uh, that are attached to a DX commander base. The uh, 80 meter goes to that tree there, that branch. Top band, I don't think you can see it, it goes right over the top of the tree. Uh, a bit like a walking stick shape. Uh, down the other side. Like I say, they're feeding off the uh, currently unused DX commander base with all the radials and the lawn. So just for testing purposes, I've temporarily connected a battery to a switch in the preamp, and then I've added the preamp to the transformer box, desoldering the wires, uh, and connecting the preamp in series uh, back to the shack. So here we are in the shack. Um, I'm actually videoing this in reverse. This is with the uh, preamp in, in place. I did do some earlier measurements uh, but I wasn't filming at the time so I'll have to shoot that afterwards when I uh, desolder uh, the preamp. Um, so the bands aren't particularly brilliant at the moment but that's just reality. Uh, so here we are on 80 meters uh, and you can see with the IPO setting of IPO1 in, in, in Yesu language that means no preamplifiers which is what you would have on 80 meters you wouldn't put an amplifier in um, on particularly 40 and below um, so this is IPO1 so this is the uh, quarter wave vertical and now uh, when we switch over to the receive antenna with a preamp in it's nearly nearly identical in terms of receive uh, signal noise there is a slight difference if I toggle so off down a little bit just a tiny tiny bit um, which means now with receive antenna in you can go beyond IPO1 which is IPO2 uh, which is in theory uh, a better quality of listening and receive So we just found some signals, which is going to be uh, tricky to have a look. So back onto IPO1 on the antenna. So now we're going to receive with a preamping line. Now toggle. So between those two stations, there's very little difference. If I try and find... A noisy band you can see. And that's a receive antenna. So the, the preamp definitely brought the signal strength up to equivalent of the main antenna uh, but I don't think I've gained much in the way of advantage. I did off camera, I did go through the band and look through some other stations and signals and there was maybe one or two where it was marginally better um, so I'll find, try and find some more try and find some a bit weaker
That's the main big cutter. That's the machine. So very little difference. And I could reduce the gain, as I said at the start, I can reduce the gain on that preamp if I reduce the voltage down to the minimum, but at the moment I don't have any uh, way of doing that with fixed or variable resistors. So for reference, this is the loop uh, without the preamp. Um, so here we are on the main antenna, antenna 2, uh, on IPO1, and we've got about S5 to 6, S6, so the loop, take it down, but we can always boost it back up if we want, and put that on amp 1, so we've just got the S1 to 2 signal. And if uh, we run amp 1 and run the main antenna, S9 plus just. So we don't need any amplification. It's particularly noisy band as well. Right, so I found an example, but it's actually an AM broadcast station. And this might be just to do with polarisation or anything. So this is the vertical. And then on the receive. Back in the vertical, there's nothing there at all. So there's one example. And here you've found another broadcast station. That's the main antenna. That's the receive. Main. Receive. We have to remember that the loop on the ground is directional as well depending on where you feed it either in the corner or down the sides so just to show another AM example if I scan this frequency without the loop this is on AM nothing there put the loop on So it does make a difference uh, on uh, on AM reception more than uh, sideband, interestingly. So he's a chap uh, who who shows the benefit of the the loop. There we go, just showing the difference. That's the loop. That's the main. Put some digital noise reduction in. There's the loop. Back into the main. That's the loop again. So you can see um, there, are, there are differences and I could see those differences uh, without the preamp, just the signals are quieter. Um, so there's no, uh, again, I think I said it in the last video, there's no silver bullet, um, but the uh, antenna in its original form uh, without the preamp is a fairly straightforward thing to set up if you've got that uh, ferrite uh, toroid uh, for the uh, transformer. Um, and a little bit of wire on the ground, a bit of coax, it's it's an easy thing to try. And you can try different uh, directions as well in terms of feeding which corner or which side. Um, the preamp and the, the bit of uh, extra work I've done today uh, is a bit more effort. Uh, and again, it may be worth trying uh, your setup. Uh, this is UK soil, uh, reasonably wet ground, uh, good conductivity. Um, and the uh, the loops uh, been down now for a fair while, so it's it's absorbed within the, the grass as you saw. So I've kept the demo to um, eighty meters. Top band is completely dead at the moment, and seventy, uh, sorry, seventy, forty meters, uh, seven megahertz, 
uh, I've tried and there's no significant improvement there. And as before, 80 was the band that I saw the most gain uh, previously with the loop. So the tests show, I think the the loop works in its original form. It works with a preamp. Uh, I could do with adjusting the gain possibly to get a bit of variability. Uh, obviously it would mean feeding uh, power permanently to the uh, to the preamp or popping out with that switch, uh, turn it on and off for a listening session and then remembering to turn it off again at the end. Now if these stations keep transmitting this is a, a good example of the loop without the preamp in its original form reducing a lot of the background noise. The station there and the noise. The loop. There's a very faint station there, which you don't know is there at all. Now clearly this is a comparison between my antenna and the loop. Um, your antenna will be different and you might be see, receiving better to start with or even worse perhaps. And what I have found, if I just go on to AM, and we're on the loop without the preamp, those AM stations, broadcast stations, it's not there now. So that's interesting, the AM stations have gone without the preamp. Well to sum up, I think as in the original series of videos, having a loop on the ground is a good addition to your armoury and I'm happy I've got mine. I don't think the preamp does a lot for me, uh, I think I'm happy working uh, the, the loop as it stands without the preamp and the added complication of providing power and switching it on and off. Maybe different for you. Um, but something to experiment with. Hope you found this video useful.